Hi there, you're looking at a kitchen which is probably about 30 to 40 years old. Time to uh, renew it. It's uh, suffered a lot of uh, water damage, <coughs> molds everywhere, and uh, it's really um, giving out a pleasant smell. <coughs> so I'm ripping it apart, and uh, look at that, On, along the wall is uh, water damage. And over here, we have uh, had some visitors, uh, mice uh, droppings. Very unpleasant. And uh, rip off all the cabinets. And what do we find here? A plastic snake. So somebody obviously thought that a plastic snake would drive away the mice. Go figure. I don't know. And on the wall as well. The cabinet's gone. It's a uh, clean up. So there's some moles along the wall, so we're going to have to treat the mold. And the water heater is staying. So the rest of the um, old cabinets are over here. So now we are working on the new ones and uh, my daughter is helping me putting together the uh, corner units. It's actually pretty easy, it's all comes flat pack and uh, just basically uh, you know, like a jigsaw puzzle, put them all together. So power tools uh, comes in handy. So that's a corner unit and uh, in full, um, you got to uh, you know use the uh, spirit level to level it. And a lot of clamps do help along the wall units. We clamp it together before screwing it in. And you see the um, uh, back wall is a bit grotty. It doesn't really matter because the uh, cabinet will cover it. And that uh, table electric cable will come through, through through this hole and I'll put a power point in there. So the cabinet is up, so the uh, grotty wall is gone and on the left hand side the uh, what call range hood will go over there. So I place it against the wall and there's a gap here so I place a piece of uh, plank and bolt it to the wall and then uh, screw the uh, cabinet into the plank and here as well so in a couple of places uh, I have to pack it in and clamps are very handy to um, you know attach the cabinet together and here is my daughter attaching the cabinets together and drawers almost ready so there Drawers front cover with the um, spaces. So the best thing to do is to fix the bottom uh, first and then work yourself up. And here I'm uh, building a template for the uh, handle. Just checking the templates, I'm happy with it. And then uh, we start to um, drill the uh, template holes. <coughs> So this way, all the holes that I uh, drill on the door will be uh, the same, uh, more or less the same, but easy for me to uh, put in the handle. And I also clamp it against the wall before I drill. So all these uh, doors will be uh, you know, evenly spaced. The templates are handy. You could buy them, it's about $10 each, but I find it just as easy to uh, make one up. There you go, all the handles are in. So, looking much better now. And uh, the next job is the kickboard. So, the kickboard is in. And over here, in the uh, you find that I uh, corners is easy. At the bottom where the uh, water heater is, I actually uh, you know, have a joint there. In case we need to change the water heater, the whole uh, kickboard do not have to come up. So here we're doing the templates for uh, cutting the holes to place the sink in. The uh, new sink comes with a template. The cover is actually uh, a template. So, template's done. I pre drew a hole before I um, put the jigsaw uh, blades in. And the hole's done. So, this is where it will sit. 
And I've also cut off uh, this section here to uh, so that the uh, basin will fit into here. And you see all this exposed timber it is um, in the wet area. It's not a good idea to have exposed timber. So what I do is uh, put two coats of uh, polyurethane. That will seal the um, raw timber. And in case there is any water leaking into it, it won't. It, it actually will not damage the, um, the the wood area. It's a good idea to put some sort of a, you know, a sealant. I just choose a polyurethane because I have it handy. Um, <coughs> so this is the piece I need to join to go over the uh, corner unit. Comes a pre-cut like that so that you can put the uh, clamps in. And uh, I've got some uh, biscuits to uh, put into the joint. <coughs> this will make the joint stronger. PVA glue. So the instruction says to put glue on one side. So I'm putting it into the um, gaps and then just uh, and stick the um, biscuits in. Biscuits in and more glues on, uh, on there. So now it's a matter of putting the other uh, small piece on top and then I put the clamp in, tighten the clamp. Make sure the uh, surface is flush. Tighten the clamps. Now for the basin, the basin comes with uh, clips <coughs> or, or clamps. You just push it into the uh, holes uh, provided in the basin until it snaps in there. And uh, after that, it's just basically uh, tightening the uh, all these uh, clamps into the uh, bench top. Yep, you got to hear the clicking sound, and you know when once you hear it, you know that it is uh, well in place. So just quickly tightening it. It says uh, you know use low torque and uh, do not over tighten. <coughs> so all done, and bench top in place, wall unit in place, all looking good. stove in and this is the before and this is after thanks for watching